Hi folks, welcome back. I'm going to very quickly go over editing your logbook uh, on the i6 tablet today. So I logged in this morning, realized that I needed to make an edit to my log on Friday. It's Monday morning, it's 930. I need to go back to my Friday logs and make a change. So I've already gone from my dashboard down to my logbook section and I can see that I see my um, log for today. Now I can see that my shift reset and my cycle reset have been achieved. Um, consecutive days off, I'm good. So I've got my full hours ahead of me. Now I do have a trailer already hooked uh, from earlier and I've got an active trip on my tablet. I'm not gonna talk about those today. Let's go back. Um, I'm gonna tap on my history button and this is where you get to see a full 14 day recap of what you're doing. You've also got this recap option uh, at the top, which I'll touch on in a minute. So in the screen, uh, I can go back a full 14 days and look at how many hours I spent off duty sleeper birth, driving, or on duty, and then whether or not I signed. Then you've got an HNW, hours not worked, or an HW, which is hours worked. They add up to four, or 24, not 14. Um, now, I want to go back to Friday, uh, September 13th. I'm going to tap on that date, and I can see my log. Now, let's just say for some reason in this particular day, uh, I knew I actually started my shift earlier than... Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I want to backdate that a little bit, or maybe I want to take this particular branch of time and turn it into the sleeper birth. So if I go back, uh, I'm actually going to go back one more day right here. So I'm going to take this particular block of time, which would be last Thursday. I put myself in an off-duty break status. What I really wanted to do was put myself in the sleeper birth, let's say at 10 p.m., now in the Isaacs world, you have to choose a block of time and really you're going to split that block of time into whatever the status was to whatever you think it needs to be. So at this point, I am going to tap my edit button. So it is going to give me a warning that I'm about to modify a log that's already signed. I will need to sign it again in order for things to be legal. I'm going to tap OK. So from 5.52 on the 12th to 9.32 a.m. Um, on the 13th, I want to split that time. So currently I'm at a rest break off duty. I'm going to split. I want to split at, let's just say six at seven. And on your tablet, you can just uh, click and drag on these. Let's just say it's 750 PM. So now I'm going to go from 750 to here. I want to choose my category to be default. This gives me my list of Isaac activities. Uh, and I'm going to scroll through my list until I see the sleeper option. So right here. So address, location, activity details, there shouldn't be any. I'm going to save. And my note is that I missed setting my status. I'm going to tap the check mark and I'm going to save my form. So it's going to prompt me to come back here. Now, if you want to review your log or you need to make additional changes, you can tap the not ready button. And now you should be able to see my duty status was a straight off duty. Now it's 750 PM. I've dropped down to my sleeper birth status. And if I tap forward to the next day, I hold the sleeper birth status until 10 AM when I went back on duty. So for me, I've made that, uh, I've made the right changes. Everything's good. I'm going to go back to, and I can use these little side arrow buttons to flip through my days. I'm going to go back to the day that I edited. And you'll notice that the sign button is lit up, and that's because I've made an edit. So I'm going to tap sign. I do have to tap that I'm going to sign the document electronically. I tap it. I hit agree. At that point, my days are signed. Now I do need to go through. Now I can, um, if we're all done, we can hit approve all. The one thing I would warn folks about on using the approve all is that it will actually approve your current day as it is. And then as you move through your day, you may get a bunch of different pop-ups telling you you're making changes to an already signed log. For me, I'm gonna tap on, uh, it was Friday the 13th. I'm going to sign my log, sign it electronically, agree. I won't walk you through the rest of the steps, but I would do that for the next two days. So the 14th and the 15th. Once I'm done, I'll go back to my main page and I'm good to start my day. 
As always, if you have any questions, you've got comments, things you don't understand, reach out to compliance. Uh, the folks in safety and compliance can help you work through that. Obviously, we can make changes for you on the back end that push the changes out to your tablet for your approval. Um, but ultimately, they are your logs and the expectation is, is that you're able to do the basic edits, edits and get yourselves out of problems. The only other thing I was going to touch on quickly while we're here is that if you do get pulled into a roadside inspection and a, a compliance officer asks you for your cab card um, or your diagnostics cards, everything's actually down here in the documents section. So if I click on documents, um, there's an ELD malfunction instructions, which is something that we've put on the tablet for you. And then Isaacs has this quick start and the quick reference roadside inspection ELD compliance piece. Um, those are the cab cards. We can have them either digitally or paper. Uh, if for some reason you prefer paper, you can come into the office and ask for a copy. They're multi-page um, and ultimately it would be your responsibility to take them with you if you moved around from truck to truck. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to get accustomed to this document section uh, and referencing this if you've got a problem or you get asked for it as part of a roadside inspection. That's it for now. Uh, if you come up with anything else or you have other questions, come in, see us, ask away. Great to chat. We'll see you soon.